I think it's already a success. And one real problem with this is tuning this thing is sort of a fiddle with it until it works. There's no real linear procedure that gets you to the right setting. I eventually figured out if you take the motor off and just try manually feeding, you can see how it's melting and feel how much force is required, which is what I did today. And then you put the motor on and adjust the motor current until it, it feeds reasonably reliably. Just uh, better gears too. Cleaner gears might it, help. It would clean up the picture. Cleaner gears would help. Much better shaped gears. Because then it, it wouldn't see a ripple. Yeah, some of the ripples probably from the gears. Absolutely. Because if you look at this piece here, you can see ripple. Actually, it's kind of interesting. The ripple sort of is damped, but you see these ripple lines cross here. You can catch the light. And that's from some sort of resonance or feed irregularity or. Now, theoretically, if those were uh, uh, our layer progress is 25 out of 26. Okay. Looking at the distance between these ripples, all oh, seeing it matches that. It might a little be a little easier. No, actually, it makes more sense for it to be. It'll be a combination of all of them. Well, no, it's the relative so speed of, of the feed and the extra. It's be a combination of And there we go. Okay, now we give it a couple minutes to cool before we try peeling it off. Yeah.